My name is Jeremy Watts. I'm a communication major, minor in justice administration. I have muscular dystrophy, which is a congenital myopathy, and uh, the one thing it does is uh, it weakens your bones to the point where I can work out and build my bones up, but the, it'll break back down to a certain point that I can never build it back up. When I was younger, I used to walk, but the taller I got, the harder it was to walk. So I had no trouble with my disability. I, it might limit me sometimes, but other times it uh, excels me. The campus it looks like gigantic, and it looks like you won't be able to get on campus or do anything. But it's real small once you get the hang of it, and the campus can't be any more accessible than I thought. The Disability Resource Center is one that really works really with you to make sure you can get adapted in any way. Our role here at the Disability Resource Center is to coordinate the types of accommodations that you may need as an entering student to be able to access all that the university has to offer. Say you can't take notes, say you have trouble writing notes and listening at the same time, they can offer a note taker in class if, it, if, the right, if you have the right uh, disability. Um, they can also have uh, your test taken over there. Say you have trouble in class writing fast enough, they can take the test at the Disability Resource Center only trouble I have is when it rains. And I think everybody has the same trouble with arguing about campus when it rains. But overall, I have no trouble getting on campus. I might take me a little longer to get there. And some people say it takes me less because I go a little too fast. But I think everybody, run, when you see somebody running to class, you see the same thing. You asked me a couple semesters ago and asked if I was going to join the fraternity, I would have laughed back at you. I was like, because I didn't see myself as a, as a person that could be in a fraternity. Looking back, I would, wish I would have done it earlier. I just didn't realize it was possible. And with Community Park now, and there's more sororities and fraternities that are accessible, I'm trying to make sure other people that are disabled that want to join know that they can and it's possible.